Worst thing you can do in men's volleyball. It's the second worst thing. So I want you guys to become incredible servers where we serve it tough and we serve it in. Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's look. Now our jump serve is a four step approach. How many steps? Four. Our first step is our timing step. Our second step is our direction. Our third and fourth step is our step close. Okay, you guys with me? We toss the ball on our right step. Which step? Right. Our arm is? Straight. No moving? Part. Part. Okay. Notice I start my arm low. Less is more. If I go down and up, that's more movement. I want to only go up. Less is more. I toss the ball in front of which shoulder? Yeah. Hitting shoulder. So I toss the ball in front of my hitting shoulder. Which foot do I toss on? First step right, then it's my direction step left, right, left. One of the important things I want you to consider is on your final two steps, your final right step, having your leg at a 45 degree angle so you can generate hip torque. Open up. You guys with me? Yes. I see a lot of you guys are going in like this and you don't have power. I want you guys here and generating power. You then want to turn on the axis. Notice I'm turning on the axis. How do I generate my power? Your hips. Your biggest thing for power is your hips. On your serve, it's not about arm. It's about hips. The reason it's not about arm is I want to leave my arm there and let this just do direction. You guys with me? If you look at Koch and Ken Stephens when they played back in the day, they used to just do this. So they can get the circle in with lots of spin and they'd leave it there. You see that? If you're trying to force it with your arm, what are you going to do? Drop it down. You're going to drop it into the net. So I want hips for power and body. Question. You guys need to see a few more? Yeah. What's the best way to learn? Visually. Visually. Arm is straight, less is more. Toss in front of my right shoulder. Toss in chase. You guys with me? Yeah. One second. Watch a few more. Pass and check. Yes? Yeah. Who else wants to show you? Who's going to do the jump serve? Steven. Danny. 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 Steven. Steven, that's it, buddy. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> watch one step back. Confidence. Confidence. No, Confidence. challenge versus Confidence. three. Challenge. Get in a challenge mode. Yeah. Okay, what did I not like about Steven's toss? It wasn't, it wasn't I wasn't ready. Give me the ball. I wasn't ready. Did a double move. Let's change this right now. Yeah, change it. Okay, so Steven's going to start with your arm low. Yeah. Okay, now try. Much better toss. Oh, yes. Yeah. His toss was right because he didn't go up, down, up. He just started low. It was one movement. It was a perfect toss. The other thing is, guys, spin matters. How much spin can you generate? Generate the spin. You guys with me? Yeah. You guys are looking at the great players. They're doing crazy spin like this. Okay? The other thing is that I've learned is to really jump so great when you really start cracking the ball. You don't hit the ball over the top. Okay. Where do you hit the ball? On the side. You can actually make the ball drop more by hitting it on the side and hitting it on the top. Really, I'm serious. So when we start, we actually start to hit on the sides, you have more control of teaching when you're spiking, hitting the ball on the side versus hitting it flat. You have more hand space on the ball. <coughs> you guys see my video of this? No. no. Half a million views, why don't you guys watch it? <laughs> it's a I only watched six Jesus. Okay, question. Okay, go. 